Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about my extensions, about how I go from this short little lob, I guess you could call it, to the long hair that you see sometimes in my videos. So this is my first attempt at doing this. Please bear with me. I'm really not sure how this is gonna go because um, it actually does, it doesn't take me a while to put them in, but it takes me a while to kind of perfect it, you know, the back and everything. And, and now I'm not gonna have to show you guys what I'm doing, so that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So the things that you need basically to put in clip-in extensions are clip-in extensions, um, a little comb, a little fine-tooth comb, and then a little um, clippy thing to hold your sections back. Now, the extensions that I use are from a company called Cashmere Hair, pardon the box. I don't think they come like this anymore. I think they come like in a bag with like a tester strip and everything. I purchased mine directly from Melissa Barone, who um, she, along with, I think her name is Rachel Bernstein. Rachel is a model. She's Sunset Blonde on Instagram. And if you shop a lot of um, like California websites for clothing, um, like, uh, Shop Divine or um, what's the other one? She's a mo she's a model. So the two of them came up with these hair extensions. They were actually on Shark Tank with these extensions. And my issue with them when they first came out was that they were just super expensive. They were like four hundred dollars. And then um, when they went on Shark Tank, you know, one of the things that I agreed with with the sharks was that you know, there's so many hair extensions out there. And while they are the best quality, I agree, that's a lot of money for the mass consumer to be able to spend on extensions. And again, while they are super, super, um, um, I gotta change that adjective, I say super a lot. Um, they're really good quality extensions, the best that I have tried, and I have tried a lot. Um, that is just a lot of a lot of money. So they have since lowered the price. I think they're now either like 250 or 275. I'll double check for you, but their website is Cashmere Hair. Um, I've had them for a really really long time, and they're so thick that I only use three pieces, and it comes with seven pieces. So I kind of wish you were able to just pick out your own pieces, like you know, um, not have to buy a full set because it does come with seven. And, and the first time Melissa, I went to Beverly Hills to her salon and, and she put them in for me and it was great. I mean, they were beautiful, but um, you know, and they're probably the, the least like heavy feeling extensions I've ever had, but they, um, it just felt like a lot. It felt like a lot in my head. I just had clips everywhere and it just, I just knew I was never gonna wear, sorry, I'm stroking them at the moment. I knew I was never gonna wear all those pieces again, so it's kind of a waste of money if you think about it, if you're not gonna use all the pieces. So um, anyway, here's the extension. And I'm gonna grab, at the end of the video, I'll show you, um, I should probably do that now. I'm gonna grab another extension just so you can kind of see the difference. Okay, so I have a bag of hair extensions that, of course, now that I wanna film this video, I cannot find anywhere. So that's really annoying because I wanted to show you the thickness of these wefts in relation to like some that you get at Sally's. I mean, the ones you can get at Sally's are so see-through, like you, they're like half the thickness of these. And like this is like a curtain, I really can't, I can barely see through it. But on like the ones, the cheaper ones and the ones you get at Sally's, even though those aren't that cheap, they, um, they're really nowhere near the quality of this hair. Now, as you can see, mine is a bit of an ombre. The original color of these was called Sunset Blonde, um, hence the girl, you know, the name I told you, that's her username on Instagram. So Sunset Blonde is just like a true blonde. It matched me when I didn't, it would probably match me again now, but it's blonde all the way through and all the shades are on their website. But because I have the darker root, and it was darker before, and like the last month I've lightened it up, but because I have a darker root area, I like the look of having the ombre, the darker, rootier area. So instead of ordering another complete set, I was like, I'm gonna take the chance and I'm going to dye these myself. So again, thank you YouTube, I watched some videos. I don't remember which one it was, so I would put it down below, but I can't remember which one it was. And I don't think it's still in my history because it was probably two months ago or three months ago. So um, anyway, these are the clips and these are the best clips that I find. You can see what a bad job I did on the back, but who cares? Nobody sees that. So these are the clips. They're really nice, tight 
clips. I have had other extensions that were pretty good, but the clips, like they didn't, I need them to be like this. They need to kind of have, can I focus a little better? They need to have like this little um, like U instead of just having one little point down. I find the ones with one little point down don't hold my hair as well as these that have this kind of U-ish shape. So let's try to refocus again. Am I focused? I think so? No? Hello? Okay, so I think I'm focused. So these clips are really, really great. They really, really hold your hair. So, God, I'm so bummed I can't show you those other extensions. So here we go. The pieces that I'm going to use, oh, let me go back to dyeing them. I was starting to talk about how I would dye them. Gosh, my hair. The tutorial for this I just filmed and um, <laughs> I wanted it to come out beautiful and it didn't come out as good as I'd hoped. But. So what I did is I went to Sally's and I got like a level five, I believe this is. Tried to, again, match my root. Got a little level five permanent, permanent? Did you use permanent or demi-permanent? I can't remember. Um, I think it said in the video which one to use. And I think it was permanent. And so I put that, I laid it down and I used a brush, like one of those big hair br um, that salons use, you know, to paint on your roots. Big wide brush by about an inch long and I just kind of brushed down the hair. I straightened it as much as I could first and then just kind of took my fingers and raked the color through after I let it sit for about 20 minutes. And I did a smaller piece first. I did like one of these smaller tester pieces first just to see, gosh, I look so ratty at the moment, um, <laughs> uh, just to see how it would come out. So you definitely want to use a piece that you're not you're willing to part with if it doesn't come out so it came out okay and I continued on with the other pieces and I had to do it twice because the first time I didn't really leave it on enough and it didn't come out as dark as it needed to it was kind of like ashy and then there were spots that I missed like it's okay to have little spots that you miss because it's just blending in with your hair and it's just the way you normally when you get your hair done that's not perfect um, it needs to look more uh, natural so some darker spots not blotches of course but um, it's okay to have a few spots, but not like big chunks of, of, of it missing, as you can see like on the back. This is what I mean. This is on the back, so I didn't care as much, but on the front, you don't want that showing. You want it to be as, t as, t as high up to the um, clips as you possibly can. So I'm going to be using today the one side clip. This is actually something that is supposed to be on the side of your head, um, but I am going to use it at the nape of my neck. And then I do, um, these are the two side pieces. And I'm just gonna use one. And then I'm gonna use a middle piece. This one's just a little bit lighter at the root. At the root. And then, um, you mean at the, you know, at the top. And then this one's a little bit darker. So this is like the big, um, the big weft. What they call like the main, chunky, thickest band weft. So. What we're gonna do is we're going to take the hair, and I'm gonna look in the viewfinder, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at, it, at you at the camera, but I'm going to take my hair and take my thumbs and go around the bottom of my neck. So I'm just leaving a little bit of hair there, twisting and clipping. So this is just a little bit that I have left. And then I'm gonna take my comb and I'm going to tease a little bit the backs of where I'm gonna clip. Then I'm gonna take that one little um, base piece and you can curl these before or after. It's kind of easier to curl them first. Just put them on a hanger. I use like a little clip pant hangers and then take my um, curling iron and curl it that way. And you always wanna make sure what's, you know, what sides you wanna curl back and what sides you know, you, you just kind of want to be mindful of how you're curling them because like if something's on this side, like this is curling in, so I wouldn't want that here because I'd want it to more curl out. So this one should actually be on this side where it curls out. So be mindful of that when you're curling not on your head. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to clip that, that. And the reason why I'm not showing you the back is because it really doesn't matter if it's, I don't even know what it looks like, but if it's not straight across, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be letting another um, piece down over that. Oh, so next, lay that down, fluff out your hair a little bit, 
Okay, the next piece is gonna go above your ears. So you're gonna put your thumbs above your ears and then kind of make little motions to pick up, hopefully an even line, I don't know if it's even or not. You're gonna take that next section and clip that up. Again, not really sure what it looks like back there. Hang on. Text messages. Okay. All right, so moving on to the next piece. I said that was that middle piece that's not as thick and not, not as wide. They come in, in different lengths. Like you'll have like a three inch piece and then a six, five inch piece and a six inch piece. And, and so then I'm gonna take again my comb and just lightly tease at the root of the hair. Make sure my clips are open, which they weren't. Take that and clip it right as close to where you separated your hair as possible and kind of bring it towards the front. And then this is where I will sometimes go and make sure that I have these pieces curled okay. So if they're not curled okay to blend, I'll take my curling iron and just, not curling iron, flat iron, and just kind of curl them back. So you definitely want the, you need it to blend. Blended, okay. So, so far so good as far as I can see. I don't know, I don't know what you're seeing, but hopefully it's okay. Never claim to be a professional. Okay, so now that's what we have. And then we're gonna go in with something around, um, we did uh, nape of the neck, above the ears, and now we're doing brow area. Oh, and then sometimes you accidentally get connected to your extension. Oops, okay. So above the brows, again, take your fingers back and then pick up your hair and twirl and clip. And then, and some people hairspray this step. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. I just, probably more laziness than anything else. And then again, make sure your clips are open. Look at that, how cute is that? Okay, so clips open, again, placing it, hopefully I'm in the frame here, as high on the head as you can comfortably get. If they're not comfortable, you can always move them down and around. And, and then once again, try to curl the pieces that maybe need some more curl so that they'll blend nicer. And then lift like, that part down, bring that top part down. And then this is what you should have once the extensions are in. And you want to make sure that you kind of lift this up and back so it covers any tracks. Like that's the worst when you see girls with the, the track marks. <laughs> not those kind of track marks, but track marks from their extensions is not cute. So that's when you just wanna make sure, get a hand mirror, look in the hand mirror, and then you can also go back and curl some more. And then sometimes I do, uh, well, I can't do a center part because I already sprayed this. But sometimes I like to do a center part. Sometimes I like to bring these forward. There you go. So voila, that is it. The extensions are in. I have, bam, long hair again. I trim mine. I don't, I think now they come in two lengths, but they're usually like a 24 inch and like a 21 or 22 inch. I pretty much do a 20 inch and trim them to about 18 inches because I, I don't like them to be like, you know, below boob length. I just think that's a little much for someone my age. So I like to just keep them like right above the boob line and 
I just think it looks a little bit more natural, but to each their own, you know, you can even trim them. You can use extensions just for fullness. You don't have to use them for length. You can, if your hair is getting fine, you can trim them. Um, I do them myself, but you can also go have your stylist do it for you. Actually, the first time I got these, I did have, as I might have mentioned in the beginning, Melissa is one of the co-owners of the company. I went to her salon in Beverly Hills. She did a blowout for me. She put the extensions in, she curled them, she trimmed them. I didn't know really when she trimmed them how much it was gonna cost to trim them. That was a little bit of a surprise because she just was like, oh, you want me to trim these for you? I'm like, oh, sure. You know, I'm buying her dollar extensions and paying for a blowout. I thought, oh, she'll trim them. Uh, no, it was basically the price of getting an actual haircut on my own head in Beverly Hills. Mistake I'll never make again. So I have since trimmed them on my own. And then once in a while, I will go back with my um, trusty Moroccan oil molding cream. Molding cream doesn't sound very good, does it? Just anything with the word mold doesn't sound very nice. But anyway, I'll go back in with this and piece it out a little bit and um, just, you know, play around with it. It never looks the same twice. It, sometimes it looks great and sometimes it looks okay. So um, that's it. And if you did not watch my other part one of this, which was how I go from straight to beach waves, and then part two was this one where it was beach waves to curl extensions. I never wear extensions straight. I just, I just don't. I mean, and also the way I have them colored because it was a do-it-yourself job. It's not, it probably would not look very good straight. So I haven't even tried. I just like it curled. Sometimes more curled, sometimes less curled, sometimes I fluff it up, sometimes I don't. It's just, they're just fun to have. I love it. It's fun being a girl. It's fun to change up your look. And if you have any questions, as always, please comment and I will answer them. And thumbs up if you like the video. Please follow me on Instagram at Risa Does Makeup. Um, I just post mostly makeup looks, you know, faces of the day, looks of the day, etc. And then sometimes just some random this and that. But um, I definitely appreciate the follow and I definitely appreciate you watching and subscribing and commenting and just taking any time out of your day to listen to my, um, my ramblings, I suppose. But hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully it is helpful. So um, that's all for today and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching.